Lisa Leisure. We back, back with, with another reaction. reaction. I'm Sophia the Kale our reaction channel. We're back with another build. It's called Young People Don't Want to Work. This should be good. Nice. So true. Don't stop. Mm -hmm. Let's get into it, y'all. To cancel it out and it allegedly resets your brain or at least makes it picture. not as loud. Of course, it's not approved over here yet. I don't know if it works. Uh, Why does that all work? Anyway, here we go. Work. Hey, Bill, huge fan. Can't wait for old dads. I've been telling everyone about it when the topic of new movies come up. Oh, yeah. I think it's good. I'm really good. Like really like Oh, uh, I think it's like a podcast. Yeah, podcast. Okay. We've yeah, always staffed with young, we're always staffed with younger kids. Ooh, why you do this? Yeah, I think it's good. I think it's good. Yeah, 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 I think it's good. I think it's good. Yeah, 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 I don't know. I, I'm too fucking old to figure it out. Yeah, but, what am uh, I stuff online? That is online? fascinating. I, 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 but I don't think that they don't want to work. I just think that they want a different job than the jobs that we had, which is normal. Anyway, 10 years ago, we had teens and college kids always coming back to work for us. I speak with many of the other local businesses, and they all have the same problem. Mm -hmm. Part-time work is not sought after. I've heard from frustrated parents who are customers that their kids and their friends have sworn off part-time work. When we do hire, they usually rep they they are usually reprimanded for being on their phone instead of working in the which scene after. That is so true. I think there are two worlds of people. Uh, there are two worlds of people that don't want to work. There's okay, always the kid, lazy you know, people, on their phone. Mm -hmm. but young people used to care about making money. Mm -hmm. I've had applicants scoff at the pay which is higher than anything else that they could get anywhere else for part-time and no skills required. Well, obviously, I would think it wouldn't be if they're laughing at it. I would be fascinated to hear from somebody young to say what jobs do appeal to you. Anyways, I'm sure the tide will turn someday, but it's unfortunate that younger people mm -hmm. don't have the same culture of work ethic. One new hire quit because he said we don't give them enough positive reinforcement after all. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and we know about I that. My grandfather, who's yeah, great, yeah, seemed yeah. unable to compute. Thanks for the laugh. Happy holidays to you and your family. All right, look, I tried to stick up for young people in that one, but Jesus Christ. You know, Camino, I, you know, I really think that a lot of people can't handle being on the internet. And having their face out there, and I think of a lot, they're all like acting like celebrities who used, you know, back in the day, you get your own TV show, and then I've not everybody, but some people. Um, <laughs> I think it's kind of uh, maybe it's a uh, a symptom of of social media or something like that. I feel <laughs> like uh, symptom. like you know, I I tweeted out, I've seen it all after the Raiders thing. And then some kid wrote this joke, said, me, when I've seen it all, talking about, you know, what I've said. So, and I was sitting there trying to figure out the joke. Like, <laughs> they joke. do say that now. Of me. Is, he, is he saying that, like, what I said was stupid? Because <laughs> <laughs> was the me. Because um, I was just like, well, what does what I said have to do with you? And I kind of feel like so that's the disease that I see that I've seen in my business where you watch people get shit and then all of a sudden this thing happens with this, you know, not everybody, but you know, it's, you know, some people, I call it taking the ride. And then after a while, you just really can't hear or compute things unless it's about you. He got to understand. Um, mm -hmm. So, uh, I think I just photo there with some girl at, I, I don't know. I, 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 right. I don't think right. everybody is like that. I think there are a lot of young people working out there. But, yeah, um, McDonald's. Yeah, I don't know what it for me to be on the phone as much as I'm on mm -hmm. the phone. And then also parents mm -hmm. are definitely guilty of using the, the tablets and shit. Yeah, because kids having punishment. kids. Like, I'll tell you, Not my daughter doesn't give any, a fuck um, about Santa Claus, but if you go to take that tablet away, like, it is... Mm -hmm. A Meryl Street performance, and uh, I had to talk to her about it. Going like, "Look how upset you're getting." <coughs> Man, 
And what's amazing is the second if I go to give it back to her, all the tears immediately stop. So it's just a performance. Mm -hmm. So I just have to remind myself of that. It's like, no, you're going to hang out with me. We're going to talk. We're going to connect. You're going to color. You're going to draw. Yeah, I ain't going to give my kid a tablet until he likes it. Maybe toy. I don't have a problem with um, with her looking at it because she's going to go into a world of all computers and she needs to be familiar with how to interact with them. But definitely too much of it mm -hmm. is, is uh, not a good thing. And then I also feel like it's a very, uh, everybody's just up their own ass mm -hmm. about like themselves. Like, um, like I, my, my the thing that I'm socially most fascinated with right now is the word woke it's and how that word literally word means something different to every single person that uses it. Cause everybody just internalized it for everybody themselves, they woke now. you know? But some of them are like, I mm -hmm. find it fascinating that white liberals took the word from black people <laughs> and then put it on themselves and made it like a compliment of what a great white person they were. And then they started talking down to white people in red states. So now to them, like, woke culture is some annoying Hollywood white douche telling them mm -hmm. that they're not living their life correctly. That's and what you all of the stuff that it was supposed to be about, mm -hmm. basically not white people, is all out the window. And it's just white people yelling at each other. Mm. <laughs> you basically just took the word. Use what he's doing. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't even know. Me when somebody says that to me, like, I'm just like, all right. Oh, nah, man, I had to get out of there because all that woke shit. <laughs> and I'm like, I mean, I live in L.A. I'm woke. If you didn't know that, right? <laughs> uh, it's not like you walk down the street and people just yelling that shit with you. I mean, it's a fucking great place to live. I will tell you, it is a fucking great place to live. Make money. Amazing and all of that type of stuff. Um, I find more you run into that woke shit when you're like pitching shows and stuff like that. But it's not like you walk down the street <laughs> and somebody's yelling at you, Hey, you walking down the street, have you thought about a transgender person today? Like, 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 <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's fucking weird though. Um, I'm probably guilty of a two at some point, mm -hmm. at some level, or whatever. You know what it is when I realize I fucking hate everybody. He always right? hates so both sides. <laughs> I just, I just don't fucking like. It. As far as like uh, liberals and conservatives, I fucking can't stand them. Yeah. I fucking, I just, I, I, I don't know. Like this, can you believe we have to sit through another fucking presidential election? Yeah. You know, can they just fucking? And then Republicans just pick your fucking guy. And then that's it. <laughs> Everybody shut the fuck up, and we'll all vote nine months later. Stop with the stupid debate. We already know what we're voting that for. That is coming up soon. Yes. Why are they dragging yes. it out? Who we voting for? Money, right? Um, Money. The election goes into the fucking... Ain't nobody gonna change. Na <laughs> it's just a lot of work to try to change something. So, yeah, I get what he's talking about. Like, a lot of these kids don't want to work. I, I hate working with these kids today because I be at the register. They on their phone. The customer asking a the question, they just... Say, hold on a minute, I'm on the phone. I'm like, how are you on the phone at work? <laughs> yeah, I see that a lot too when I walk into a stairs, man. A lot mm -hmm. of the young people on the phone, you could be standing there. Yeah, for a minute. And don't say nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, she gonna, she or he gonna acknowledge me that I'm standing there. I see that a lot with the young people. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know, like, I think times are just changing now. The, like he said, it's, it's a symptom of social media. Yeah. A lot of young people they are. They're so attached to that phone. Mm -hmm. They're so addicted to social media. And he right, I do see parents have their kids on iPads. They just give them an iPad, mm -hmm. I guess, to get them out their face, up. to mm -hmm. shut up. I've seen that. And then when you take the iPad, Ray, the kid will start crying until the parents just give it back to them. Like he said, it's performance. You have to build. You're going to have to just be like, you know what, you're not getting this iPad back. No, we're going to get to know each other. You mm -hmm. my child, but I want to get to know you. Like some screen time, like... You want to post me on that tab for like like two hours, say two mm -hmm. hours of the day, and yeah. the rest of the time you do what the hell you want, da da da. But two hours is the limit for me. Yeah, I won't let my child be up there. They be on there all. I feel sorry for their eyes. They gonna be on there all day. I need glasses. Mm -hmm. um, Ten hours, mm -hmm. and they be like five, four years old. I don't understand mm -hmm. why kids that young have a tablet. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. They should be, like he said, have a coloring book, yeah, playing with toys. that's what I play with. So I don't know why they ought to tie Because as I said, a lot of kids today don't play with toys. I was like, there's no point in building new toys because they don't play with them. They don't. They want to be on a tablet or something else. 
that have a lot to do with the parents. It's mm-hmm. the parents. The parents just get them a cell phone, get them a tablet to get out. But if you face. saw the Megan movie, even he said, "It was the point of having a toy. You got attached to a tablet." Like, mm-hmm. is it stupid? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is. It is. Mm-hmm. Maybe it is us parents got to um control the kids. Control that. But then again, think about it. This is a whole different topic. Mm-hmm. A lot of parents are having kids young. Yeah. So they young, addicted to phones. Exactly. So they give that same. Thing. thing to their child mm-hmm. so that's what they know because they probably what they parent did to them and they do the same thing to their kids so they probably don't know nothing about playing with toys yeah playing with your kids to we, be honest yeah let's play with your kids read a book with them mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying build that bond with your child but now to be so into what they do and then they just give them the talent so they can do what they want to do because sometimes they still young they self and they mm-hmm. still try to figure out things but they just happen to have a kid yeah, that, so. the kids gonna be detached from you just worry about the tablet all the time mm-hmm but it like like some of these young folks, the new ones, um, they do they don't want to work anymore. They want to have like their own establishment, mm-hmm. which I get that. But still, if you at work, at least pretend to be working. <laughs> yeah, I definitely not gonna like mm-hmm. have no hate on that. Mm-hmm. You do see a y'all young people building a mm-hmm. fan base mm-hmm. on TikTok, YouTube, social like different types of social Being media Being their own yeah. So I can't get mad at that. So a lot of young people are learning learning to be their own boss. See, like, when we was a little younger, we you wasn't taught that. Mm-hmm. We wasn't thinking about that. We, we get a job, do what we got to do to get into our career. Yeah, we was taught to um, work for people, not work for mm-hmm. ourselves. Now, these young people like, mm-hmm. why should I work a job ain't paying months when I could just build myself up on TikTok and get a bigger mm-hmm. check? You know what exactly. I'm saying? Exactly. And from that, because there's some young people that really is got their own stuff and making their own money. They, they really is out here doing their mm-hmm. thing. That's one thing I can say. I just think young people today don't want to work. Like, for work for somebody or work those minimum wage jobs. For those long hours. For long hours. Mm-hmm. Like, think about it, You work a job. That take eight hours out of your day. Some of us that do general labor, it's, mm-hmm. it's 10, 10 hours, hours. 12 hours. Only 24 hours in a day. By the time you do that type of job, you tired. And then that could, like, stop you from doing what mm-hmm. else you want to do. Because out of eight hours of the day, you working. But basically, you got to get up two hours extra just to get there. And then when you get home, all you do is go to sleep, watch TV, and then repeat. Like, who want to do that the for the rest of, of your life? Mm-hmm. But I understand, like, the older generation had to do it because back then you got, a, like, a pension. Like, now you have 401k stocks and stuff like that. They didn't know about that. But, like, back then you had to work a certain amount of years to get your yeah, pension. Yeah, to get your pension. But now so it's retire. like you could do whatever the hell you want now. So now they're doing some crazy stuff with the pension. Even though you get your pension, sometimes mm-hmm. you don't get the whole percentage. Mm-hmm. You only get half. So it's like you work your ass off. They only get 50%, 30%. Mostly fifty percent of your of all your hard work, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it's, it's crazy. And like probably the kids are seeing that like my parents struggling. I don't want to be like dumb. I want to like build myself up. Yeah, a lot of kids mm-hmm. are saying that too. So I don't know what it is. Even though the, you know, in a way, when I think about it, with mm-hmm. kids being addicted to um, social media, mm-hmm. they they get to see a lot of stuff. They probably watching the news, watching a lot of stuff. In the old movies. So it making them be rope in a way. Yeah, they probably like. <laughs> Yeah, I want to do better than my parents. I don't yeah. want to do that. You probably see them pitching for pennies and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, that's what it is. A lot of the kids is probably like want to do better. And it's not even that. It's probably they want to help their parents out too. You know, mm-hmm. when they get up there, because YouTube it has a lot of benefits. You could get your own house. You could build your own business from it. So with that, you can help your parents as well, and with a little bit of time. Yeah, little mm-hmm. by little. Mm-hmm. That is true. So. Basically, when you see the young kids working at the job, they like, I'm not going to overwork myself the, for somebody else. For somebody else, continue keeping them rich. I'm going to do what I'm getting paid. And what you know you're what passionate saying? about, yeah. Yeah. So that's what it is. They, they probably like, I'm at work, got to do what I got to do, but I'm not going to give 100%. Why? Exactly. Okay, at our time, we was giving them, like, I knew a lot of the middle wage jobs I was working, I was giving 100%. Especially they Because I didn't know better. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I was just giving 100%, but it's at the end of the day, if something happened, that job just lets you go. You know. Yeah. Anything can happen to you. They don't care if they're going to replace you Customer like this. Customer can spit on you, slap you in the face. That's because you retaliate to, 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 to defend yourself. Mm-hmm. You fired. And you, you know, know, a lot of these new kids, they put over there. They're going to fight the heck out of you. I wanted this one person um, pushed on it. She punched in the face. I'm mm-hmm. like, you know, you can't do that to the new people. These new people walk out real quick. They not even mm-hmm. like, I don't care. I'm out. Because it's easy to find another job like this, especially with everybody hiring. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. at this time, a lot of people don't want to take these jobs. So it's like, they really out here posting stuff and putting they, the job, putting their stuff on the line now. Mm-hmm. And putting their stuff out there because they need people. These young people not trying to work these jobs. But it's, it's funny because Indeed is hiring, but yet they're not hiring. 
Like I don't get it. Mm -hmm. They are, you people said they put two thousand applications in. Why are you hiring these people? Like mm -hmm. what is going on? Now people don't want to hire people. It's crazy. People don't want to work. People don't want to hire people. It's like the world is just crazy now. It is a lot going on, especially I think after this pandemic too. Yeah, a, a lot, lot of people of, got woke after that. Yeah, a mm -hmm. lot of people like it. They really woke up after that. They realized like. At the end of the day, it's good to have more than one income because you yeah. never know what could happen with that job. That job could have stock go down. They got to let go a couple, mm -hmm. of, a lot of employees. And a lot of people got to let go of their jobs because mm -hmm. of that. Yeah. And a lot of people got to let go because they didn't get fully vaccinated or oh, yeah. and stuff <laughs> like that. So it's like people just getting tired. They're like, you know what, you know. Because some nurses got let go because yeah. they didn't get fully vaccinated. Yeah, that was so crazy. Cops, and now they saying you don't really got to be fully vaccinated. It's stupid, right? So these people lost their job. Because of that. Because of that. But we now you're trying to say we, we had to get fully vaccinated. And now I'm seeing like cops have their own food truck and stuff now because you let them go. Like, they ain't going to yeah. to you. They making their own money now. I see that a lot of stuff is down because they said a lot of people not signing up for the army. Mm -hmm. A lot of people not signing up to be a cop. A lot EMTs. of people not, Look how look what happened when the pandemic came, and then y'all said that y'all don't want y'all go if y'all don't get fully vaccinated, y'all fired. People looking at that like, why the hell would I want to sign up be a cop, firefighter, this? Mm -hmm. If y'all just gonna let us go for anything, either. So many people, and we're not gonna put something in our bodies, we don't even know what it is. Yeah. It wasn't even approved by the FDA yet. It mm -hmm. wasn't, and, and and so many people was on a job for thirty or forty years, yeah. then getting twenty years or let thirty go. years, and they getting let go like that. Young people see that they're like. It was so easy for y'all to let someone go that been there for a long time. Why the hell were I sign up? It's gonna be the same way for y'all. Mm -hmm. they, they don't realize that people, young people, is seeing. It's watching, they're watching. Yeah. They see everything because they always on social media. <laughs> <laughs> they think about it. Like they like it's on the news. I didn't want to sign up for the army, mm -hmm. but you know y'all let a lot of people go. Is that they want to risk their life? Oh, uh, I want to always be a cop, but damn, they look like almost a million go because they didn't want to get fully vaccinated. Why waste my time? Because let's say they want us to do something else, mm -hmm. and I don't want to do it. I'm fired. No, basically, no job is secure. No that's job, how I see yep. it. No and that's, I think they understand that as well. Yeah. So yeah, it's like a fifty-fifty with it, you know. Yeah, it, it is better just to have more than one income. You have a job, make sure you have like a side hustle. Yeah, you know, so stocks or something, Uber. DoorDash, do something because I feel like no job is secure, and especially with this recession coming up, ain't no job secure. It, it's a lot. It, it's no. It is. It's nothing in this world really secure. Even with YouTube, not really secure. You just gotta be out here and be on your grind to make money different ways. Because if you're not, you're gonna find yourself in a situation. Mm, you're gonna be you stuck. Know. Now, I always put God first. Definitely. Other than that, y'all, just in this reaction. Sorry, we talked your ear off. Yeah, because this was a good topic, like what Bill was talking about. Anyway, leave a like, comment, comment down, down below. below, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. Don't forget to care. Sorry, Peace. Peace.